I ran out of memory on the video camera last night as I was bitching about the sleeping bag not being big enough. But I feel good today. Slept really good. The lake's been super calm all night and into this morning. Um, that's the first time Nora's whined. I don't know. Yeah, I feel good. Get a good night's sleep. The boat stayed nice and quiet and still tied up like it is. Getting to watch the sunrise through the trees over here. And I'm going to make some coffee. And then I'm going to row off to another cove over south here. I'm going to try this thing. See if I can't catch some fish. I'm fishing right now. I think I might have hooked one. I reeled it in and it was wrapped around a stick with no bait on it. And usually that means a fish got it. Wrapped it around the stick trying to get off. But anyways. I'm going to try and catch some fish. Go row around. Make videos. Hang out on Lake Tahoe. Rocking around in a little canoe. So after yesterday and being all beat up and not. I don't know about beat up, but being tired, just exhausted, absolutely exhausted. Horrible headache by the time I fell asleep yesterday. And not sleeping all night in a little canoe and just having to adjust to being in a little canoe. I have these plans of going on a really long row in this boat when it's more equipped, better equipped than it is now. This is just kind of a first trial to see if it's really gonna work as a long distance rowing sailing boat. Um, the idea is that, anyways, what am I trying to say? Long distance rowing sailing boat. So yeah, yesterday I just wanted to, I didn't want to have anything to do with it. I wanted to. I think that's called Emerald Bay Cove. That's where I'm gonna stay the night, I think. I still have to get back to over there tomorrow if I wanna go to my van tomorrow. I don't have that much good food left. And I'm still fairly tired, like I was telling you this morning and telling you the whole trip. But yeah, I wanna do a big trip in this boat someday. I didn't yesterday, I was too beat up and too tired and too exhausted. Today, day like today, it sounds like a great idea. Day like yesterday, it sounds like an awful idea. But that's kind of the reason that it's so appealing is because of the highs and the lows or the rough parts that make these moments so nice. It's Sunday, there's gonna be a lot of boats over there. So I think I'm gonna row this way. Control my fishing line. I got some flashers down there. That way I can uh, take care of some morning business out there on the water. Where I have a little privacy and then I can come back in here. And Nora can finally play with a rock because she never gets to play with a rock. Or play in the water because she never gets to play in the water. And tie up for another night on Lake Tahoe. See that sailboat? I want to go and sail up into the cove there. Sailboat's going that way though, so it's going to be hard. I'm going to have to do a beat back. And I don't know if this rig is going to point all that well. We'll see. Going to give it a shot. We just got done. Or I got done eating lunch. Nora's just been playing in the water. Having a ton of fun. So she'll be nice and cool as we try and sail back up into Emerald Cove and find a spot to camp for the night. I'm afraid I can only sail across wind. I started at that beach. I went somewhere over there. And now I'm back here. I've actually lost ground. 
lost water. So I'm gonna have to row up into the cove up there. Or maybe the wind will be nice and change directions. At least I know I can sail a crosswind pretty good. Now I'm gonna have to work on sailing upwind. It's taken me a long time to get up into the bay. I figured the best technique is to row sail. I'm filming right now so I'm not using both oars but when I am it's pretty slick. I can tack real fast if the wind changes. The wind's just gusty all over the place. Not all over the place, it's blowing from right there in between those peaks right there. Right there, right there, right there. But it comes and goes, so rowing sailing seems to be the most efficient. The dog is settled in pretty good. I think she likes having my feet up there. She doesn't shake. She's under the sail most of the time. She's getting some shade. We got a lot of ideas on how to improve the boat, make the sail better. I think I can get a lot more. I know I can get a lot more performance out of it. But for a first trial run, this isn't bad. My goal someday is to sail the thing up the inside passage in Alaska. I was gonna not say anything about it in the videos because I feel like I don't wanna curse the idea. Or a lot of people think it's crazy and stupid and I don't wanna hear about that, so. Anyways. I'm going to be spending the next few months traveling around the country, checking out some different lakes, big lakes that I can uh, test the boat out on. Right now I'm going to work on getting up there into that cove. There's no way this would work in Alaska. We're both soaking wet. It just took me an hour and a half and my hands hurt and my body hurts from tying up the anchor. I swam in to tie it up to that log and take a bath. Now I gotta spend the night in the soaking wet boat with a soaking wet dog. We still got a bit of sun so maybe things will dry out. I'm all tied up. Last night I was able to just row in close to shore and hook the rope over the pole or over the log. Tonight I swam in. I think I'll be able to get it off tomorrow. I don't know if you can see it, it's hooked right in there. Hey, hey, go away. Don't you dare climb on my dry stuff. Go. Go. I'm definitely not sure this type of adventure is what Nora's cut out for. I don't know what she's cut out for. We're definitely having some moments of not liking the dog on the trip, and then there's others where it's well worthwhile. And we get along just fine. But she doesn't think to do anything else. She doesn't go to the bathroom when she's on shore. All she does is play, play, play. Maybe we're just supposed to visit the shoreline for half an hour each day to play and not actually try and live on it in a small canoe. But I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere having fun. Playing around in a small boat. Beautiful place. Tomorrow I'll go back to the van and get on the road again. It'll be nice to be around some people. Not be out here all by myself see groups of people going by on power boats and get a little jealous I guess sitting out here all by myself but not that big of a deal I chose to put myself out here and I'm 
getting my fill, so to speak. All right, I'm gonna uh, work on getting the boat ready for sleeping right here. Below the mountains on Lake Tahoe. Adios, till tomorrow. Put a lot of work into picking that direct direction to be my stern line, bow line, bow line. That's my shore line. So. That boat's kind of bow line, stern line. Bow line, stern line. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But the cool thing is they'll be healing over by the time they get pushed this way. Because it's only... Well... I don't know. They could get pretty damn close. But they got some good hooks. Of course they threw all the chain out at once. But there's plenty of rocks and shit to grab the hooks on the way. And if it really starts to blow like that, I probably won't be sleeping anyway, so I can sit and just watch the boat. And at least I'll only be able to do a couple hundred dollars worth in damage, because that's all I'm floating on, folks.